Well, good morning and welcome to our godly play story, The Faces of Easter. Uh, today is the first Sunday of Easter, and we will finish our story. In the beginning, the child was born. The Word was made a worldless child. And the mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby close and gave everything the baby needed to grow. When Jesus was 12 years old, he went with his parents to the holy city of Jerusalem for the high holy days. When they were returning home, the mother Mary and the father Joseph noticed that Jesus was missing. They rushed back to Jerusalem, looking everywhere. They found him in the temple. He was talking to the priests, and he was listening as well. When Jesus was about 30, he went out to the River Jordan to be baptized by his cousin, John. John was a wild man. At first, John refused, but Jesus insisted. And when Jesus came up out of the water, some people said they saw a dove. Other people heard a voice, this is my beloved son. After his baptism, Jesus crossed over the Jordan into the wilderness to learn more about who he was and what his work was going to be. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights. While he was there, he heard a voice. The voice was trying to tell him to do things that Jesus knew he must not do. And so he said no. When the 40 days and 40 nights were over, Jesus crossed back over the Jordan. When he crossed, crossed back over the river, it was to begin his work. But what was his work? Well, his work was to come close to people. See how close he comes to this blind man. And Jesus especially came close to people that other people did not want to come close to. When Jesus comes close, people are changed. Jesus went to Jerusalem one last time. Some of his followers thought he was entering Jerusalem to become a king, but they, they weren't paying attention. He was not that kind of king. But they still waved palm branches. On Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesus taught in the temple. And that night went up the Mount of Olives where some people said the angels were going to come down with an army to drive the Roman soldiers out. The temple guards were going to take him on Thursday, but they couldn't find him. Thursday evening, he and his friends rushed through the dark streets of Jerusalem. They entered a house and went up the stairs to an upper room and had supper. After supper, Jesus took some bread and broke it and gave it to them and said, Whenever you eat this, I will 
be with you. Remember me. He did the same with the wine. Whenever you drink it, remember me. I will be there. They didn't understand, but they did remember. Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he joined his friends, Judas came out of the darkness and greeted Jesus. That was a sign for the temple soldiers to come and take Jesus away. Everybody slipped into the darkness. It was a confusing night. The next morning, they talk, took Jesus outside of the walls of Jerusalem and they hung him on a cross. Later that afternoon, Jesus died. The sky turned dark. And they took Jesus down from the cross and they buried him in a cave. And they rolled a stone across the, the mouth of the cave, like, like a door. On Saturday, it was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, only the women had the courage to go to the tomb to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember him, even if it was sad. But when they got to the tomb, the stone had been rolled away, and Jesus was not there. He had been crucified, but somehow, he was still with them, even as he is still with us, and especially in the bread and in the wine. You see this side. Now we have this side. And you can't have this side without this hut. You can't take them apart. This is the mystery of Easter, and it makes all the difference. And so now, today, the color changes. But look, something's wrong. The story has a beginning and a middle and an ending. This looks like an ending. But this looks like a new beginning. An ending, a beginning. Hmm. So watch.
There. You see, now the story does not have a beginning and an ending. It goes around and around and deeper and deeper. Come and, come and see what it looks like from on top. Around and around. Deeper and deeper. This story, the story that goes on forever and ever. Now, I'm going to ask you the, some wondering questions. And maybe you can wonder with your family, with your friends, with your parents. But I wonder what part of this, this whole story you liked the best. And I wonder what part of this whole story you think is the most important part. It might be the same as what you like the best, but it might be different. I wonder if there's anything we can take out of this story and still have all the story we need. And I wonder where you are in this story. Which part of this story is just about you? Well, thank you for joining me in this story over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. The story of the faces of Easter, the story that ends today with Jesus, who is still with us, and especially in the bread and in the wine. And a happy Easter to all.